Hey guys, um, today I wanted to talk about uh, Instagram story dimensions and how you can create graphics, you can create videos, you can create photos, all in the Instagram story format so that way you can use those in your stories to maybe do more curated type of stories. So let's get started. Oh wait, and first, normally I try to look a little bit better uh, for these stories, but I've just been lazy today and I haven't shaved and I haven't done my hair, so that's the reason for the hat. You'll rarely see me in a hat. Uh, if you want to see what I look like when I'm all done up, then you can look at one of my other, <laughs> one of my other videos. <laughs> all right, let's get to this. All right, so what you want to do in Photoshop is go ahead and just create a new uh, Photoshop image. And for Instagram stories, the dimensions are going to be 1080 uh, pixels by 1920. Uh, you can leave the resolution at 72. Everything else is okay. Go ahead and click Create. And then once you're in here, you can see this is the format for your Instagram stories. So. Uh, you could actually go ahead ahead of time and place text. Um, you could post, create images and put them in here. Um, for example, if you want to go ahead and take an image, um, here I'll go ahead and take one of some flowers here that I have. And I'll click and drag those into Photoshop here. And so you can see that this image is a square image. Um, so I can actually leave it like this. Um, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and you know scale it up. So I wanted to, I can go ahead and scale it up here to fill up the whole screen. Drag a text layer up above that. So you do something like that. And the same would be if you wanted to add a video to your Instagram stories that you did not shoot on your phone. Let's say you shot it on your DSLR or your point and shoot with the video function on it. So um, for me, I use Premiere Pro. So I would go ahead and do File, New, Sequence. And now you can see here, I already have some custom sequences. So I already have an Instagram story one set up, but basically the settings on it, if we go to the settings tab, um, is still the same as we created in Photoshop. So it's 1080 by 1920. Here you can see it's the same kind of format. So let's say I wanted to add some video that I had taken, but maybe I did it in landscape format. So I'll go ahead and drag that into my project. All right, and then I'll drag the footage here into the timeline. Now it's gonna say the clip doesn't match the sequences settings. Do you wanna change it? And so basically what it's saying is that this is 1080 by 1920. But this is probably 1920 by 1080. Um, so it's saying it doesn't fit. Um, do you want to change it? So no, we want to keep the existing settings because we want to keep to um, what our sequence is. So you can see here, it'll place the, the footage here um, on the sequence. Obviously it doesn't fit because it's a different uh, dimension or different size. So what we want to do then is we can go and click on our clip here to select it. And then we can just scale it up. So that way I can go ahead and increase the size of it. If I want to move it left or right, I can do that with the positions over here. And now when I go and play this, you can see that it fills up the entire um, dimensions of Instagram stories. And so I can export this by going up to File, Export Media, and then it will allow me to um, save this um, somewhere on my computer where I can then add it and get it onto my phone and um, and then export the video. And then I can take it into Instagram stories on Instagram and place text over it or um, you know tag somebody um, or a brand in the in the video. And so to recap, you basically want to create videos or photos that are 1080 by 1920 pixels. Another way to look at it is an aspect ratio of 9 to 16 9 16. And you can um, export the videos as like an MP4, and you can export the images as a JPEG or a PNG format. Now here's a little bonus to make sure you have your camera settings right on your phone so that it's in the proper format for Instagram stories. So what you wanna do is go ahead and go into your camera. And then for me on the Pixel 2, um, I will go up to my menu down to settings. 
and then I want to go to my back camera photo resolution and as long as I choose any of these that are 16 by 9 I'm good of course the one with the higher uh, pixels is going to be the better resolution all right so that's it for now um, if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments below otherwise I'd really appreciate it if you could help and support me by um, subscribing to the channel um, also, don't forget to click the little bell at the bottom to get notifications so when I upload a new video, um, you'll get notified when, um, when I do that. So until then, and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tom when I Connect. So until then, <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.